Wrestling games of the Attitude Era. Now, first up, it's not necessarily the Attitude Era, but this is one of the first games, uh, first wrestling games I can remember playing on the PlayStation 1. It's 1996's WWE In Your House by Acclaim. And uh, Acclaim went on to make quite a few titles for PS1 and N64, uh, but this is by far the worst of them. I mean, if you look at the game, it's it's so fast. I remember playing it. It's, it's like the whole game is on crack. Uh, it's like they tried to compensate for a really shitty game by just speeding it up. And it was just awful. Not much else to say about this game, really. Yeah, it was pretty terrible. Off the ropes, against the ropes, into the ropes. It's WWF Warzone. Uh, this was also by Acclaim. It came out in 1998 for PS1 and N64, and it was a hell of a lot better than WWF In Your House. Um, it had its limitations. I mean, some of the, the character rendering looks a bit a bit crap and uh, the single player mode was was very short and limited but it did have a very good creator wrestler mode I mean, and I played the shit out of this game overall I really like this game and I think it was the best uh, WWF game to date when it came out um, but what about WCW we know at the time WCW was king of the hill and uh, what was happening with WCW games at this point in time? Steve Austin is trying to get to his feet. WCW versus NWL World Tour was happening at this time. And this game came out in 1997 for the N64. Uh, it was made by THQ. THQ also made some WCW games for the PlayStation 1. Um, but the PlayStation 1 games were never as good as the N64. Um, I can't really comment on gameplay too much of this game because I never had an N64 and I really, really wanted one. Uh, I was a poor student at the time and a second console was just out of the question. But by all accounts, this game is fondly remembered by wrestling game fans. And uh, THQ made a number of uh, follow-ups, sequels if you will. Uh, using the same game engine to this game. WCW Nitro, released for the PS1, N64, and even the PC in 1997. Uh, again, this is a THQ game, and I remember renting this game out when it came out, and um, Knowing that it was made by THQ, I thought, oh, maybe this is going to be as good as the, uh, the N64 titles. Not really. Um, you know, despite WCW, like, being all over WWF at the time, you know, and WCW was really at its peak at this point, um, you know, their, their games for the PlayStation 1 were just really shitty, basically. Um, this game just... It was just pretty limited overall, it just had very generic, bland rock music playing over it all the time. Uh, pretty lackluster backgrounds in the arenas as you can see there. Um, and it just felt like a button mash of a game, you know, you just like mash buttons all the time. Moves might happen or they might not happen. And overall this game, like, this was pretty disappointing. So on to WWF Attitude for the PS1, N64, Dreamcast, and the Game Boy, actually. Uh, this was Acclaim's last sort of big wrestling title uh, that I can remember for, for the PlayStation 1. Uh, basically just an upgrade version of WWF Warzone uh, the, the year prior. Um, same game engine, everything. They just added a few more characters, uh, you know, with their own special ring entries and uh, there was a create your own pay-per-view mode, which was kind of interesting. No season mode, I don't think so. I don't remember that well, but uh, again, I did play a lot of this game just because I, you know, I didn't really have any other wrestling games to play at the time, and this was the best of the bunch for me, at, at least anyway. 
So a claims follow-up to the previous year's WCW NWL World Tour N64 game was WCW NWL Revenge, released at the end of 1998, at the peak of WCW's popularity. Um, again, this is a very good game, uh, which a lot of fans remember really, really fondly. Um, it was more or less an upgrade using the same game engine of the previous year's game, but a little bit more polish, more characters, uh, better entrances, a, a little bit more colourful too. And finally, the granddaddy of them all, WWF WrestleMania 2000 for the N64. Released in 1999, a few months before the awful WrestleMania 2000 of the same name. To be fair, this was, you know, before the pay-per-view happened, so they didn't know it was going to be that bad. However, this game is excellent. Uh, much revered by fans, and it's possibly one of the finest wrestling games ever made. Again made by THQ, this time THQ applied the same engine from their highly successful WCW titles they made exclusively for N64, and this time applied it to WWF. And the result was an awesome game. WWF was well on top of WCW at this time, and it was the, the hottest thing in wrestling at the time. So uh, the fact that they put this into a THQ game for N64, it was just awesome. So there you have it. These are just some of the games of the Attitude Era that were around for the first generation of consoles at that time. The N64, Sony PlayStation, uh, even the Dreamcast got one or two titles uh, during this period. Now again, I've missed a few games out here and there, but um, if there are any games that you really enjoyed and you feel need a mention, let me know by leaving a comment, and thanks for watching.